Well, welcome back. This is Greater Devotion, and I'm Pastor Brad. And today we want to continue in our journey as we discuss forgiveness and even the role that confession plays in our forgiveness. And, you know, we talked a little bit about yesterday the idea of we really need to come before the Father, before the Lord Jesus Christ, and we need to lay out those things that burden us, the sins that are in our lives that we struggle with, and really confess those things to the Lord so that he might bring forgiveness into our lives. Well, the question I have for you today is kind of an interesting question, but is there a role that forgiving other people plays in our own forgiveness? You know, oftentimes we seek after our own forgiveness before the Lord, but you know, sometimes there are things that people have maybe done against us that we need to let go of, that we need to forgive, just in the same way that God lets go of and forgives the things that we've done against Him. And you know, there is this interesting and uh, unique connection between the way that we forgive and the way that God then in turn forgives and releases us. And so, you know, it's, there's this delicate balance and we have to learn it, but oftentimes we don't even think about it. And I want to challenge you today to begin to think about how you forgive other people because how we do that has a lot to do with the way God will handle us. And this is not, you know, something again where we're trying to work for forgiveness, but you know, there's something about we should have an extra ounce of grace for others when we've been extended so much grace ourselves. I want to read a passage of scripture to you out of Mark 11, 25. And this is what Jesus teaches uh, at this moment. He says, And whenever you stand praying, forgive, if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father also, who is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. And here is a really interesting picture. And it's not the only time that this is taught in scripture. Uh, this is taught a couple of different times in a couple of different ways. But the idea is as you go before the Lord and as you are doing your religious duty or the acts of your faith, as you're doing those things, in this particular situation, he's talking about coming before the Lord in prayer. And of course, it's often in prayer that we're talking to God about the things that we're struggling with. And this is very unique. It says really before you go about doing that, if, there, if you have need of forgiving somebody else, why don't you stop and go and do that, get right with that individual, and then it says, and this is the unique connection it makes, it says, so that your Father also who is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. In other words, because of how you treat others, you may actually put a block between you and God where God cannot do the work that he needs to do as he handles your forgiveness because you are greedily holding on to things against other people. And we have to learn as Christians, we have to let those things go. We have to put ourselves in a position where we are gracious towards others. And as we do that, it actually plants seeds of greater grace for us before the Lord. And on that good word, let's close with prayer. Lord, I pray that you would help us to recognize that we open and shut doors of forgiveness for ourselves by how we treat other people. And so, Lord, I pray that you would help us to forgive and to demonstrate grace towards others, even going before them and confessing things that we need to in order to make that healing and forgiveness happen. So, Lord, give us that strength and courage to do what is right for others in extending grace towards them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thanks again for watching. Go ahead and click the like and the share button. We do appreciate it when you do. It helps us get the word out there. We'll be back here tomorrow with another, uh, you know, lesson on forgiveness and confession. And so come on back and uh, join us again tomorrow. Until we see each other again, remember to show somebody a little bit of kindness, love, and respect, even today. We'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.